Well, joining us live from Warsaw is Radoslav Sikorski, a member of the European Parliament and former Polish Foreign Minister. Welcome to the programme. Why do you think this call for reparations or compensation, or whatever you want, want to describe it, is being made now? Uh, Nazi Germany committed uh, unspeakable crimes in Poland. Up to six million uh, Polish citizens uh, dead and up to half of our economy destroyed. Um, but uh, at Potsdam, the reparations that were decided upon by, by the victors of the Second World War assigned to Poland 15% uh, of the Soviet uh, reparations uh, claims. And we were cheated out of most of that. So you could actually argue that it's um, the successor state of the Soviet Union that uh, owes us uh, those reparations. Uh, but your report is correct. Our populist um, leadership uh, here in Poland is, uh, knows full well that legally uh, it's um, almost impossible to move this uh, agenda forward. Uh, but um, they have a policy of attacking our ally, uh, uh, Germany. Um, and it seems to play well in some parts of the uh, right-wing electorate. And looking at today's politics, then, uh, how might this strain relations with Germany, if at all? Well, Germany is our ally in NATO, is uh, our most important economic partner with whom we have a trade surplus. Um, and uh, I personally think that uh, at a time when uh, Putin's armies are trying to conquer Ukraine, uh, when we have an actual present danger in the East, is not the best time to be picking fights with our Western uh, friends and allies. Is this more a political move than any real expectation that money will be paid? No, I think it's, it's to harden the uh, right-wing electorate, uh, which is uh, prone to conspiracy theories. Remember, uh, the same man, uh, the leader of our ruling party, claims that uh, our president was uh, uh, killed in an ass assassination uh, in 2010 when it was actually a, 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 an air crash. Um, but uh, they've captured uh, state media, uh, which have been turned into... Uh, uh, an instrument of party propaganda. Um, uh, inflation is high. Economic prospects are not good at the end of the second uh, term of their office. So they are cutting at straws to try to, um, to uh, arrest the, uh, the, the sliding popularity. Radoslav Sikorsky, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.